Hey, how's it going guys? This is your boy Haste, and today I'm going to be going over the 6.2 2H update guide for you guys. Yes, you've been demanding it, so we're going to do it, so let's jump into this. As we all know, you gotta know what talents you're using before you can really do anything. You gotta have the right abilities. So for 2H, you're definitely gonna be going in for Plague Leech, guys. Because uh, any of the others, two just don't do it for 2H. It's just not worth it. Um, for 57, definitely Lichborn. You go Purgatory, I'm gonna kind of make fun of you a little bit. And so will every other DK in PvP. Because if Purgatory pops, you've basically already lost the fight. Uh, <laughs> Anti-Magic Zone, eh. Alright, so Death's Advance, you can use that in Arena at key times with 2H. Um, let's say if you're getting ridden by a rogue and you're trying to kill a priest or something. I have seen some people do that, which uh, actually works out if they do it correctly. Um, but as for what you're going to be rocking with 2H most of the time, probably Asphyxiate, guys. Um, why do I have Chillblains right now? Ah, I was just having fun with it. Uh, you can also use that in Arena if you're like uh, certain comps like TSG and whatnot. So you'll be fine there. As for the level 60 talents... With 2H, you can actually go either of the three. Some people like Blood Tap. I absolutely hate Blood Tap. Blood Tap, just get out of, just get out of here. Some people actually prefer it. They got used to it when uh, it was back in the Necro days, the Necro stacking days. So they got used to that. So it's eh. a lot of people like RC because it gives you uh, overall damage. But if I wanted the overall damage right now, I'd definitely go dual wield. Um, but as for that upfront instant burst, I definitely would still go RE for the. Uh, for 2H. Um, as for the heal death siphon, it's definitely still on top, guys. Um, conversion can be strong if you're sitting blood presence and healing off of it, but as for defensive pressure, it's not going to be that great for using. Um, so definitely go with uh, siphon. As for the level 90 talents, of course, you can go remorseless for fighting certain comps in arena. As for desecrated ground, eh, eh, still the same. Um, as for the level 100 talents, this is what everyone's like, man, do I change over, do I stay, can I Can I use the old fashion macro, the old bursty your face off macro, yeah guys, it's still viable, the uh, necrotic plague spec actually is stronger it, it, in arena wise, it is stronger for 2H, um, because, you know, of course they buff the uh, frost strike damage a little bit, and of course the uh, howling blast damage, howling blast, I believe they nerfed the frost strike back down to normal for uh, 2H. And uh, basically, I believe it only got... Actually, I believe the reworked uh, attack power stacking from Dual Wield still applies. Um, so I believe 2H also got a slight buff on their complete rotation, which actually means with 2H, I would, I'm actually starting to lean towards uh, Necrotic Plague and Runic Corruption for 2H because of how this concept kind of all flows together. But you know me, I'm kind of stubborn and I like to do things... Uh, how I just kind of like to do them, I suppose. So Runic Empowerment is kind of the way I go. And that all sets up. So you know what talents we're using. Let's jump over to Glyphs and we'll talk about the slight change that occurred. So when we're discussing Glyph, everything is really just about the same. You know, you got your Empowerment. You got your, uh, you know, increased Runic Power by uh, slowing effect. And of course, your Icy Touch. Now, how did this change? They removed the old chains of uh, Ice Glyph, the Icy Chains Glyph, which is not this one that deals damage. It's the other one that made it so you're... Uh, chains regenerated 10% more runic power they basically took that out so we no longer get that so we can't use that for bg stomping and whatnot which also made that uh, reduce our breath uh length by quite a lot because we used to use that at range and basically you know hold it for 24 seconds plus now we're having i don't know I, i've seen some people do it for around 14 seconds 15 seconds still but even then it's still lacking compared to what it was definitely um but yeah, that's definitely how that's sitting. I mean, the macro still works. You catch somebody in a stun with it. You don't even need it for that long. Everyone knows that. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Yeah, that's what's going on with the glyphs. Um, as for rotation and uh, whatnot, everything's still the same. Now, people uh, keep asking me, like... Now, gear, like, what stats should I be using for 2H? That's definitely a big thing. For 2H, guys, you're going to be going uh, versatility, stacking, of course, and haste are going to be your two main stats. Now, why are those your two main stats? Because you want haste for cooldowns on your runes to give you more obliterates so you can shuffle out obliterates over and over and over again because that's what you really want to do with the spec. And, uh, yeah, and really just blow people up by smashing them with them obliterates. 
Uh, but yeah, the versatility stacking, why do you want that? It gives you a lot more top end for your obliterates. It's going to give you more damage in the long run, since your main damage is not based off of, uh, you know, Howling Blast and Frost Strike. So you're going to get most of yours from versatility. It's kind of like almost stacking strength for a warrior, if you kind of think about it in a weird sense. Um, and basically, of course, haste, because, yeah, I explained that. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, as for mastery, I believe it falls probably in third for 2h for stat wise so if you can't get haste you can't get versatility probably toss in mastery guys for gearing up and whatnot um that should answer a few questions on that one uh but as for that guys i believe that's really about it for the update on 2h i mean if you're gonna go necrotic plague 2h i don't believe i've deferred this too much it's basically just a you know just a simple burst macro for uh you know, not having breath, or of course you can go on to, see where did I put the other one? All these macros and other things. Um, where did we put that? Where did I put it? I know it's in there. Apparently I don't have my breath macro. There it is. And of course the breath of Cinder goes a macro right there, guys. Um, that one definitely is going to tear some faces off still if you use that correctly and whatnot. Um, but yeah. That should sum it up for about the 6.2 update, guys. Um, definitely remember, you want the versatility gear. Where's the versatility gear? I got a piece of it in here. I got it from a box. I was actually really mad when I got that, and I can't find it right now. Why are you hiding from me, versatility gear? Well, there it is. All right, so this versatility gear right here. Now watch the top end on this. When you put on a piece of versatility gear with the 2H, uh, you're going to go from, like, 9353 9, top end to, you know, 95 which is like 150 top end, which a crit is going to be, you know, 300 plus with that extra amount. It's going to add, you know, 400 plus top end to your obliterates. Now you stack that up with times 12 and you've got quite a lot of damage coming in. So that's why you're going to be doing that. Um, as for enchants, I didn't even think about that, guys. What are you going to be doing for that stuff? Now, Fallen Crusader, of course. And uh, now the other thing is... No, that's not the good one I want to show. Is uh, what should you be gemming? Obviously, if you get uh, pieces of gear, throw versatility in that piece. Just versatility the crap out of that thing, man. You're going to be hitting like a truck. If you've got full versatility stack on 2H, that would be absolutely terrifying to come up against a uh, full versatility 2H DK at the moment. i got to admit, guys, that would be that'd be pretty threatening. Um, as for trinkets, of course, you want the damage trinkets, guys. You want the versatility in the strength versatility you want both those um but yeah it's you okay you also want i don't even have the right enchant for the back enchant you're gonna want the versatility enchant of course for 2h and the versatility enchant for your neck which i've got mastery because it's dueled and you want the versatility enchants for both of your rings now i believe we've covered just about everything there is for about 6.2 updates for this patch thinking i'm pondering i'm pondering again i'm thinking and that should cover it guys i hope you enjoy this video guys and i hope it answered your questions if you have any more about 6.22h and playing it at the moment go ahead and ask me and i will reply guys